What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Team Solomon Circus live video. Down on the left side here, we have Dinos. On the right side here, we also have Synchron. Um, so both decks, very old decks, if you guys know. Um, Dinosaurs have been around for ages, you know, just chomping down on the metagame. And then Synchrons have been around for a while, you know, getting a little bit more support once in every again. But more recently getting that Revolution Synchron here. Um, before we dive into the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 5k here, and most of you guys who watch the videos are not subscribed, so it helps the channel a lot if you just hit that subscription. It costs nothing, and it helps out a lot here, but we are going to be diving in. Um, both decks can and want to do very different things. Um, so the Synchron player obviously wants to go first, but at the same time, if you let the Dino stack going second, um, you know, even with one misc, can just ch ch uh, tear down the opponent and just OTK very easily here. We're going to be seeing the uh, the Synchron player are going to be choosing to go first here, and they're going to pass turn. That is not good. You definitely do not want to be passing turn on this, but there's a chance they have much of hand traps, though. We're going to see a normal summon of an Adamnor Archosaur. It's going to get hit with a Veiler right off the bat here. They're going to activate Talents to look at the hand. We see two Jet Synchrons, an Ash, and a Veiler there. Hitting the Ash Blossom is not great. Um, don't have to worry about what they're going to play anymore. Now we're going to activate Prod of Prosperity here. Banishing six. And this is going to be very easy for them. Will we see an FT or an OTK here? I actually don't know what you choose off this. Lost World, Baby, Talents, Lost World, OV, as well as the Pill. We're going to be or adding Pill to the hand here. Do we have... I mean, we can go for Pill, I guess. Yeah, because we're going to be linking away and then going for the Secure Gardena. Then we're going to activate the Pill here, and it's going to go into the UTC, probably. Which can also be a form of interaction as well versus the opponent. You know, be able to flip it face down um, mid-combo, especially against a Synchro deck, is very useful here. They're going to go battle, making them take the damage here. It is half off Prosperity. They're going to set one and pass. Just scoop it up here. Yeah, we're going to be seeing them scoop it up. Not going to have enough there. That's very rough. But moving on into game two, hopefully we won't see Synchron Brick like that again. Um, that, that, was, that was horrible. <laughs> that was really bad. Um, not good gameplay at all here, but hopefully we will see a redemption in the game two. It's just like dinosaurs is a crazy deck out of that we don't see that very often at locals. I know that like Brad here who's playing it only really brings it like once every few while. So I have to feature this when I can. Unfortunately, I can't just record everybody and make them play whatever decks I want or what you guys want them to play. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoy the video here. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to be seeing Synchron's going to get absolutely chowed down by uh, by dinos. Um, but maybe we'll see a game two redemption there. The siding pattern of Venom is also cool because like I don't actually know what they can play anymore. Um, like there's so many different ways they can change how they uh, how they play. But we're going to be diving into game two here. Synchron's gonna be going first again. And they do have a playable hand, it looks like. We're going to activate Assault Synchron Summoning itself out here. And then we can Normal Summon out the Synchron. Or we're going to actually activate the effect here. Tributing off the Assault Summon itself out. Then we can activate the effects, adding the Illumination or the Overtake. But they're going to get hit with the Droll on Res. Then we're going to be seeing a normal summon of a Droll here. Um, going into Junk Speeder, Junk Speeder will be acting the effect. And do we have? We don't. Okay, we're, so we're, we're going to be seeing the Junk Synchron will resolve here. Summoning out four bodies. And just hit with Nib. Oh no! 
That is rough. Oh my gosh. Wow. The absolute BM here of the double hand trap. Can we play through it though? We're going to attempt to by activating the Stardust here, which is going to dump the trail, I believe. I mean, we can Reborn Junk Synchron as well as Revolution Synchron, no? Simply going to be passing turn on this. I mean, I don't think that they have it. I think this is this game is over. Um, we're going to see a normal summon of an OV. It's going to get hit with a Veiler here. I mean, that is a massive token, though. We're going to see a Link 2 into the Cerberus. Activate Cerberus effect here. Getting rid of Dark Roller no more. Um, to pop that token. Then a new battle phase and just attack with the Cerberus. Giving the uh, player another chance to go here. Then a normal summon out the jet. To activate the effect of Synchron. Summoning itself out. It's also going to summon out the trail here. Um, so we will be able to get into a, a cell here. Excel can bring back the assault. Then we are going to be able to summon out a token there off the trail. Assault effects going to activate summoning out the Stardust and then exactly quick sinking here. I'm not exactly sure why. I guess it now makes it unaffected with the Baron there. And we can also banish the Assault to bring back the Excel. Activate Revolution. Summon itself out by milling the Tuner. Um, or Tuning, I should say. And... I actually don't know where this, is, where this can go. Is there a chance, like, you summon out... Like, I don't know what level the tune... Okay, linking... Or, synchroing those away here for the Ravenous Croc Dragon. Then we get to draw one card here. We're going to activate the Baron Pop, and then they're going to go for the right, and that's going to be enough for game. So we'll actually see Synchron take game two here. This is this is scuffed gaming, boys. I don't actually know what to say about this. These are not. This is not a good match. Um, but this is, shows you how quick games can be here. Uh, I guess like just <laughs> that is so scuffed. Um, that was such a cool. De Both decks are really cool here, but uh, we're gonna be going into game three. We didn't see any fancies. Just just good old. Beat or beat down, I guess. A lot of tokens being on the board here. That's what I'm noticing. And Lost World hasn't even been activated yet, and there's already tokens all around. But moving on to game three, we're going to see Dino's going to be able to choose who's going to go first or second here. And we are seeing them side out those Dark Roller No Mores. So chances are they're probably going to be choosing to go first here. Um, it's interesting because we also know that uh, the Synchron deck is playing a lot of hand traps. So cards like Thrust or uh, Talents are also very, very nice in this matchup here. I don't know what this siding is, though. This pile shuffle is super weird. But diving into game three here, Dinos is going to be going first. We're going to start off with a Lost World, and then we're going to be able to normal summon out the OV Chainlink 1, OV Chainlink 2 Lost World. You know, putting that token onto the field here once again. Searching for Misk. Misk to three, please, Konami. Activate Misk. Um, and then Misk is going to...
Wait, I don't know how we're dumping. Oh, Ovi's going to target blow up and then the effect of... Okay, I see what's happening here. Ovi targets the token, uh, loss for protect, dump, um, baby, baby effect, pop, Af activate baby here, um, get ashed, and then they're going to be banishing the misc to summon out the add on Archosaur. Its effect's going to activate here, and I don't think they can improve or anything else, so um, it's going to be popping the baby in the hand. We can't target anything other than the token, so... We're going to be able to search for pill and baby effects going to activate something with the giant rex here. So it does look like we're going for the big combo. Linking away into the copy of the Lingrebo. Then a secure garden most likely here. We're going to be seeing an overlay for the copy of Dolka, I would believe. They're going to special out the copy of UTC here. Um, oh, they forgot to add the pill. Okay, yeah, they activated the effect. You have to kind of add. You can't just forget. Um, which I guess they are now going to be revealing that they have a UTC, but the pill can actually summon out um, Pangratops here as well if they wanted to. Summoning out the UTC, though, then we're going to be banishing for double UTC. One of them is completely glared off. I don't know why you ever need to go for two UTCs, but they're just going to reveal the triple dark ruler, jet synchron, and the nib there. And unfortunately, or that's fateful. I'm um, unfortunate that's going to be game here that we're going to be seeing. The dino player end up taking it here. We see a huge brick from the hands of the, uh, the synchron player here, which is quite unfortunate, but... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. And if you want to be dodging UTC himself, make sure you hit that subscription button. Don't forget to stay safe. Peace.